Welcome to the Step 1 of Your Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about vitamin E. Vitamin E is also called tocopherol or tocotrienol. It is an antioxidant that protects the body from free radicals, particularly the red blood cells and membranes. A deficiency in vitamin E leaves the body unable to protect the red blood cells from free radical damage, thus leading to hemolytic anemia, a condition in which red blood cells are being destroyed faster than they are being produced. Acanthocytosis can develop in which red blood cells get spur-like projections. Muscle weakness and demyelinization of the spinal cord's posterior column tracts can also be present. The posterior column tract is responsible for vibrational sensation and proprioception, aka where you are in space. Thus, demyelinization results in a decrease of proprioception and vibrational sensation. The spinal cerebellar tract is also demyelinated the part of the spinal cord that carries information to the cerebellum. Thus, demyelinization of that also leads to ataxia. These symptoms present similarly to a B12 deficiency. However, a lack of megaloblastic anemia, hypersegmented polymorphonuclear cells, and an elevated methylmalonic acid levels points to vitamin E deficiency. Vitamin E in excess puts infants at risk for enterocolitis or inflammation of the small intestines. High doses of vitamin E will also affect vitamin K. Patients who are on the blood thinner warfarin will thus have heightened effects. That's all for this lesson, Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.